Jinmen, also called Kumoi, faces Amoy of Fujian province across the Taiwan Strait and is located right next to the mouth of the Jiulong River on the southeast coast of mainland China. Its history can be traced back to the Jin Dynasty. Over the years, those people who came across the ocean to Jinmen were refugees or frontier settlers. Others came to broadcast a culture and still others to revive a kingdom. Born out of 1,600 years of cultural convergence and frequent wars, the rich heritage of today's Jinmen has blossomed. The practical requirements of everyday life determine the origin of Jinmen's traditional settlements. Plentiful water sources, warm weather, and a leeward position became basic criteria with which many early settlers chose places to build their homes on. Therefore, residential buildings generally face the same direction and sit on the foundations with lower front and higher back forming a unique comb-shaped layout. This layout also manifests itself in tribal ethics. Most of Jinmen's spontaneous villages were built by a single clan. For example, people of the same last name. The whole village was centered around the clan's ancestors' hall, while different families grouped around their individual family ancestors' halls. The hierarchy among these ancestors' halls was clear and their authority unquestionable. The clan was thus united and ethics upheld. Multi-clan villages were usually developed by seaports or commercial towns, or were established in early days for military, defensive purposes. Here, different clans were united around the temple, the common place for religious worship.
From the mid-1800s to the 1930s, large groups of Jinmen's younger generations found jobs in the South Pacific or Japan by way of Amoy. These hard workers remitted their wages back home to improve their family's life quality. Jinmen became a place that benefited from foreign earnings repatriation. Many private schools, ancestors' halls, and family homes were built or remodeled. Some of the architecture, adopting Western styles and combining with the traditional local designs, have formed the unique look of today's Jinmen. In 1949, as an outcome of the hostilities between the KMT and the Communist Party, the Communist Army landed the Guningto area. The KMT troops drove the Communists back very quickly, forcing a stalemate across the Taiwan Strait. On August 23, 1958, Communist China launched a ferocious air raid on Jinmen. This became known as the Bombing of 823, an event that shook the world. Sporadic unilateral bombing continued during the following 20 years or so, but this never developed into all-out war. During that period, close to one million bombs landed on Jinmen Island, forcing it to stay on a perpetual state of alertness, which thus cast a mysterious veil over the island to outsiders. Jinmen remained a war zone for a long time because of those battles, and its armaments have become war memorials to this day. Years of military curfew have given Jinmen's wildlife a chance to revive itself. Since 1950, the military and civilians have worked hand in hand to reforest Jinmen, transforming the formerly bald island into a park on the ocean. Coastal formations have been preserved because of coastal restrictions. As a result, ecology in the tidal zones is rich and diversified.
ponds, and reservoirs were dug inland to preserve water, creating havens for birds. Now birds have become the main attraction of Jinmen's natural resources. Jinmen National Park combines culture from southern Fujian province with the influence of foreign earnings repatriation and a war zone experience, and all these have merged over time. Yet this is still a place where humans and nature are lucky enough to coexist in harmony. Jinmen is a unique and memorable place because of its vital cultural heritage and diversified ecosystems. Historical memory and respect for life have been able to mingle and develop here. <laughs> 